And as I reflect this morning on what to tell you people, I am reminded of some very primitive fishing experience from the islands. We learned to dive deep with hardly any equipment. If you manage to steal the diving mask from your uncle, you want to steal his harpoon as well, but find out that our wife has locked it away. So you make yourself one. And we used the rubber from the old used tires from tractors, and some of them are very elastic, and you can make a very powerful harpoon. And um, that's all you got. You got a harpoon, you got a mask, no weight, no diving suits, no pedal, that's all you got. And you've got three and a half minutes to dive down 30 meters, find a fish, kill it, and bring it up to the surface in three and a half minutes. And that is how long I could hold my breath. That means I was a very useless diver. <laughs> my cousins could hold their breath for eight and 10 minutes. I could only hold for three and a half. And then your family may want to go fishing and they took you to this place where you dive. You go down, go underneath this big rock, and all on your left there is another rock. And you turn and look, it's not a rock, it's actually a garupa. Because the gills are moving, and with no hesitation you shoot. And in seconds you realize the fish is bigger than you. So you pull it up, it pulls you down. You pull it up, it pulls you down. And all of a sudden you realize your three and a half minutes is over. And in split uh, seconds, you have to make a tough decision whether to let go of the fish, to save your life, or you give it your final kick. Then you look up to the horizon, you are not far. And the faces of your family who are waiting in the, in the canoe are in your head, in your mind. So you make the decision, I'll give it my final kick. And you kicked, and you kicked, and then you swallow four or five mouthful of seawater, and then you land on the surface. You're gasping for air. You try to bring your, your breath, to hold your breath back. And then as you start to breathe, you realize that there's a lot of noise. Your family is actually celebrating the Karupa. They have no idea of what you had to go through to bring it to the surface. But then, the important thing, as you breathe, you look at their faces, then you know it was worth it all. They are the reasons why you dig deep. And graduates, just have a, take a look at your moms, your dads, and remember the hard time they and the sacrifices they made to allow you to come here. And when you look at them, then today it's worth it all. The hard times of the year and whatever I had to sacrifice to get to this point, it's worth it all. Congratulations. <laughs>